naked five-year-old boy standing there with a cowboy hat and a holster and a cigar in one hand and a scotch in the other hand. He says, little boy, are your parents home? He says, lady, does it fucking look like my parents? <laughs> This is for the new people. You know, you wonder what the crew must think, right, of all this shit? Well, the first gay cruise I ever did, uh, there was an underwear party in the disco, and they were like, yeah, and there were like 800 guys in their underwear, and some of them had hard-ons, and I looked at this little waitress holding a table, and I said, you don't see this every day, do you? And she said, the gay cruise is the best cruise. <laughs> Religious crew. <laughs> nobody drink, nobody dance, they pray, pray, pray. <laughs> many, many. <laughs> I think we ought to give a shout out to the steam room attendant. Let me tell you that. Boy. Jesus Christ. I, 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 like, I like to go sit in the steam room because it's good for my voice. I swear to God. Yeah, right. And I was in there today and I was alone. I was like, great, nobody's here. Then all of a sudden, they came in, they came in, and, they came, and then all of a sudden, I was like pinned against the wall. There were like 15 guys in there, and I kept thinking I was going to say, Fraulein Maria, would it help if we sang about our favorite thing? <laughs> no, darling, this one time it would not help. <laughs> I always love working for Atlantis. They always take care of my travel arrangements when I come here because I cannot deal anymore with those announcements on the airlines. Hi, I'd like some information before we begin. What is your final destination? L.A. I think you said Scottsdale. <laughs> is that right? No! I'm sorry, I didn't quite get that. What is your final destination? Los Angeles. Checking flights for Seoul, South Korea. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, and speaking of Sarah Palin. <laughs> put the cunt in country first. <laughs> she makes the Flintstones as a documentary. <laughs> you notice when she's getting interviewed, the way she walks, I mean, they're trying to interview her, and then she goes, oh yeah, well, I think we have to support her. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, get up here. Did you see her, you know, the, her, her daughter's baby daddy, Luke? at the Republican convention with that face. This was his face at the convention. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh my God, what an insult to our intelligence, you know. She says that she knows international affairs because Alaska is next to Russia. Yeah, well I live next door to a hospital, so that means I'm a doctor. <laughs> Barack uh, Obama is speaking, his brain doesn't kick in while his mouth is still going, so he'll go, now, now, let, 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 don't, 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 let me say this, and then my pain is seething, you know, he's just, you fire off the I'll shoot him. always been nasty. Do you remember four years ago with Bush and Kerry? I mean, Kerry would come out and say, I'm John Kerry and I approve this message. George Bush is the demon spawn of the infected seed of the Antichrist. <laughs> he has the style and grace of an asthmatic prairie dog and the aroma of a dead jellyfish at low tide. If his parents had only been pro-choice, they might have made the right one. <laughs> Bush had a commercial. Hi, I'm George W. Bush, and I approve this message. John Kerry's a fag. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm really glad to see all of you here. I always have such a wonderful time, and I'm glad that you have a week where you can get away from manhunt. <laughs> Don't lie to me. <laughs> I went on that thing just to see. <laughs> Yeah, you know, it's funny, I, I have a, uh, you know, can I just say it's so nice to hear laughter, because I just did a Jewish country club on Long Island two years, two weeks ago, and the whole audience was 70 and up, and so instead of laughter, I heard, what? <laughs> what? Who? Who? What, Maury, what did he say? What? <laughs> what? Who? <laughs> but no, I was looking at the manhunt, and I love the abbreviations, and I didn't know what those abbreviations meant, and so I figured them out. I have decoded it. The man kind of abbreviation. Uh, VGL, you thought it meant very good looking? It means vocational goals lacking. <laughs> looking to travel means I live in my mom's basement. <laughs> Hung 11 by 6 means I'm European and I use the metric system. <laughs> Gym regular means I took a shit after I got out of the sun. <laughs> Moderately hairy means I look like Chewbacca. <laughs> I have a swimmer's build, means I'm so thin I could walk through a harp. <laughs> I'm a power bottom, which means you can stick your hand up my ass and flip a coin. <laughs> Not into the gay scene means nobody talks to me. <laughs> Must be discreet means I'm a Republican up for re-election. <laughs> Republicans do not suck. 
there's some nice ones. The gay Republicans, I don't get. I don't get it. I mean, I just don't get it. I mean, a gay, you know, listen, a gay, a gay person right now voting for a Republican is like an ant voting for a foot. <laughs> It doesn't matter what any of the politicians say anymore because everybody votes for them whether or not they think we're, they're cute, you know? That's why Sarah Palin has it right. She's acting like the whole thing is the Miss Alaska pageant. You know, they ask her a question and she goes, well, I think that America, and so, and because. That's why they ought to forget the whole election and just have a fashion show. Well, first up on the runway, it's George W. Bush. So hot, he's burning a hole in the ozone. In his thousand points of light, day 11's day glow swimsuit. Whether it's cocktails in Kennebunkport or a hoedown in Houston, George is hotter than a burning Iraqi oil field. And here's Pat Buchanan, the Antichrist, to the extreme right of the runway. America's favorite fashion fascist is putting America first with his Mussolini camouflage combat gear. And for heteros only by Adolfo Hitler. And look, it's Hillary Clinton, that little gal from Little Rock, sexy and scandalous in her Arkansas State Trooper Jennifer Flowers legal briefs. <laughs> and stop in the name of love, it's Barack Obama in a supreme lycra spandex with matching stiletto heels ensemble from Diana of Detroit. <laughs> and here's that multitasker from Alaska, Sarah Palin in her Moose Lodge Mucklock maternity gown. <laughs> And look who's out of the race now. It's Mitt Romney tossing those family values aside and showing us his true colors in his Robert Maplethorpe Catwoman leather dominatrix outfit. <laughs> and stiletto heels, whip me, beat me, tell me I'm cheap. <laughs> with me on that routine because once I get started with that thing, I can't stop. <laughs> and I did that bit in Alabama. Oh. Oh. This guy came up to me after the show and he said, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> what do you mean Mitt Romney in a pair of heels? <laughs> Somebody teach you how to fix a transmission, you wouldn't be up there doing that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Late Show. Mine is tomorrow night at 11.45 here in the theater. You come? We talk about other things. You come? Yeah, you come. Right. It's, it's tomorrow night. I've got some CDs for sale of uh, two different 45 minute sets I've done. If you'd like, they're out there. I'll be out there. You can come say hello. I'm going to bring up your next uh, comedian. Thank you very much, by the way. Yeah.